Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I was inspired to share with you guys something that I've started doing that has been saving me a lot of money and saving me from a lot of poor purchases. And I was thinking it could maybe help you guys as well if you're trying to decide what items to bring into your wardrobe or you can even apply this to makeup or skincare or anything else that you use on a regular basis. So the reason that I like this tip so much is because it really gives me a different perspective on the article of clothing. I'm gonna use clothing as a specific example because that's what I've been applying this to and it just gives me a different perspective rather than if you really really like it and you think it looks really good then you justify the purchase but then that item of clothing ends up sitting in your closet for god knows how long maybe you don't even ever wear it so by asking yourself this question and doing a simple equation in your head you can actually decide whether or not you want to purchase this item or not and it's just one simple question you have to ask yourself so what I've started doing is calculating the approximate cost per wear of the item. So for example, I was going to buy a tennis skirt the other day and it was a really cute tennis skirt. I've been seeing them all over the place. I think that they're such cute wardrobe pieces and they look adorable. However, I don't play tennis, but I've been seeing people wear these tennis skirts just for like casual outings, going to run errands, going to walk their dog. Um, people even dress them up like people have been wearing tennis skirts in a lot of really creative ways. So I was trying on a tennis skirt from Lululemon the other day. It's a hundred dollar skirt. I loved how it looked. I thought it was so cute. Um, I even got like a matching, a bra in a matching color and I thought it was super cute and I really liked it. And then I was trying to decide, okay, but is this something I actually want to bring into my collection or am I actually likely to wear this? And what I did was I asked myself the question, how many times am I likely to wear this article of clothing? So what I did was I looked at the skirt and I asked myself, how often am I actually likely to wear this? And I thought to myself, honestly, I might wear it to do low impact cardio at the gym. I'm not likely to put it on for definitely not for a weight training day because that would just be really awkward wearing a skirt to do weights. And also it would look a little awkward and probably I'd feel really self-conscious. I don't think I'd wear it honestly out to brunch or to run errands. It just isn't me. It's not really my style. I like to wear normal, like quote unquote normal street clothing when I go out and do things. Um, and I just, I was thinking, so I might wear this skirt once a month, maybe. I might even only wear it once the whole time I have it, to be honest. And let's pretend I wore the skirt once a month until I got rid of it. And let's say I kept it in my closet for 10 months before I decided I was tired of it and wanted to pass it on or decided I wasn't wearing it enough. And that's being pretty generous. Like saying I would wear the skirt once a month, every single month for 10 months before I decided to pass it along. That's being pretty generous. Realistically, I honestly probably wouldn't even reach for it that often because it just isn't something I would normally reach for and it would probably fall to the back of my closet. So let's say generously that I do reach for the skirt 10 times in 10 months before I decide to pass it on. That seems like a lot of wears. That seems like you got your value out of that item, right? So this skirt is $100. Divide that $100 by your 10 times wearing it. It basically costs you $10 each time you put that skirt on. So then you have to ask yourself the question. If you woke up in the morning and you were getting ready to go somewhere and you were deciding on your outfit and somebody showed you the article of clothing and they said, hey, you can wear this really cute tennis skirt today, but you have to pay $10 to wear it. Would you wear it and want to pay that $10 or would you rather keep your $10 and put on something else you already have? And honestly, you guys, that's being generous with the amount of times I would wear it. Realistically, I'd probably only wear it like honestly once or twice throughout the entire 10 month period. So now that cost per wear turns into $50 each time I wear it. So if somebody was to come up to me and ask me as I'm getting ready for the morning, hey, you can wear this super cute tennis skirt today to go do your low impact cardio workout or to go walk the dog or whatever, but you have to pay $50 to wear it. Would I pay $50 to put on that skirt or would I say, mm, no thanks, I'll keep my $50 and I'll wear something I already have. That puts it into such a different perspective for me because there is zero chance that I want to pay $50 for a wear of a skirt or even $10 each time I have to wear a skirt. Whereas if you were to show me another article of clothing, like a favorite pair of sneakers or a pair of leggings that I have that make me feel great, they fit me really well, they're very comfortable, they're super functional, and I was getting ready to go to the gym and somebody said, hey, you can go to the gym and you can wear these leggings, but you have to pay $2 to wear them or a dollar to wear this outfit because I would probably wear that pair of leggings literally a hundred times. 
that seems more reasonable to me. And even then I still would think about it. I'd be like, do I really want to pay a dollar or $2 to be able to wear this pair of leggings considering I have so many other leggings? When you think about it that way, you guys, when you look at how many pieces of clothing you have in your closet and imagine what the dollar per wear is on each of those garments of clothing, it makes you think about your wardrobe in a whole different perspective. But the point is, I'm much more likely to think that a dollar per wear is more reasonable than $50 per wear or even $10 per wear. Now, granted, there are items in our wardrobes that we pay a decent amount for. Like, I would say that some of my favorite tops are in about the $60 to $70 price range, but I wear them over and over and over. And I actually have like my favorite long sleeve t shirt, for example, from uh, Everlane. And I have three of them because I love them so much and I wear them so much. And I know that I'm going to wear them out eventually and they are going to eventually lose their shape and they're going to get stained or, God forbid, one of them gets a hole in it or something. Um, so that's why I have three of them because that's like part of my uniform. I wear them all the time. So for me, that $70 per item being that I wear them so so often if I was to break down that cost per wear I'm not really sure what the number would be I'm sure I could figure it out and it would be something like maybe five dollars per wear or I don't know three dollars per wear between the three shirts so far in my life something like that which still seems like a lot that seems like a lot when you could just have a really minimalistic wardrobe with like five items of clothing that you just wear over and over and over and eventually the cost per wear on those items would be pennies because if you think about it if you look at your wardrobe you literally paid 10 15 20 dollars probably even more for each wear for those items depending on how many pieces you have and how often you actually wear them and when you think about it like that it makes it seem insane to purchase any more clothing and it makes it seem insane to own any more than like 10 or 15 articles of clothing in total so usually how i decide if i'm going to get clothing first of all i don't live anywhere near stores i have to order everything online I have to try it on and then I have to decide if I like it. So obviously, if I try on a couple of things in the comfort of my own bedroom and I think they look super cute, you know, my hair is done nice that day, I really like the way that they look, that's usually my criteria. That's usually my criteria for deciding if I want to keep the item is asking yourself the question of if somebody was to offer you $50 to wear this item of clothing or they were to offer you to simply wear that item, what would you take? Would you take the $50 or would you take the item of clothing? And if you would rather take the $50 than take the item of clothing, that tells you right there that you shouldn't buy that item of clothing. So hopefully this made sense for you guys. This was just something that I just started doing the other day and started thinking about as I was like looking at online purchases and it really just put it into perspective for me. And going forward, if I can't justify the dollar per wear value of something, it just simply isn't going to come into my house. Another example would be, you can apply this to anything in your house. For example, um, I have a Smeg tea kettle. Now those are not cheap. Um, however, I'm sure that I've gotten my cost per wear out of it at this point because we have boiled water like two or three times a day, every single day since we got it. So it was kind of expensive, but we use that thing like all day every day another example is my table and chair set which wasn't very expensive and i'm actually looking at replacing it i'm looking at selling my table and chair set and getting a different table and chair set and i've said before that i think that things that you use all the time are things that you can invest a little bit more in because those are things you're more likely to get that cost per wear value out of so the table and chair sets that I've been looking at were not even very expensive. They're on sale. They're from Wayfair. They're like six to 700, maybe 900 Canadian dollars. Um, but I sit at the table like multiple times in the day. We all have to pass through the kitchen and see the table. It makes sense to invest five, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars in a good quality table and chair set because that is something everybody uses all the time. And if I look, the funny thing is if I look at like the dresses and stuff in my wardrobe, because I have so many pieces in my wardrobe that I've only worn literally like twice. I have dresses I've never worn. I have shirts I've never worn. I have shirts on the flip side that I've worn like literally a single shirt that I've worn like probably 10, 15, 20 times more than that and to the point that it's starting to wear out. But I do have items in my wardrobe like certain dresses or whatever, um, coats, stuff like that, that I've never worn ever. <laughs> um, and I have pieces I've only worn once or twice. And a lot of those pieces were like 60, 70, $80. So when you put it into perspective and you remind yourself that 
you basically paid $40 or $50 or $100 to wear that item once, it really puts it into perspective as to should you buy any more clothing? And if so, what should you buy? And do you need to downsize? Should you sell something? Can you get rid of some stuff on Poshmark? Same thing with your perfumes, man, ugh, those perfumes. <laughs> if you have a huge perfume collection and you have a bottle of perfume that you literally have only worn once or twice since you got it and it cost you $200, you basically paid $100 to wear that perfume once. Is that worth it to you? Is it worth it to you to pay $100 to wear a perfume once before you eventually get sick of it and pass it on? Like, think about it in terms of this. What are you paying each time you wear that item? It just actually like boggles the mind and almost makes you th sick thinking about how much money you've invested into using something only once or twice and then eventually getting rid of it. And that's what so many of us do. We're in this habit in this world of consumerism where we wanna buy, 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 we always think we need the latest and the greatest. We see things being advertised, think we need the next newest, hottest thing. And really, we're not likely to even wear it enough to justify the price. So anyways, those are just some thoughts for today, you guys. This really helped me make a couple of wardrobe decisions recently. And I think it's really going to help going forward. That's the way that I'm always going to look at it is, am I willing, if somebody was to offer me cold, hard cash or this item, what would I rather take? And sometimes, granted, we do get things in our wardrobe that we think are going to be something we wear a lot and we don't end up wearing them very often. If you can't figure out how often you're going to wear it, like if you're trying something on and you can't really figure out how likely am I to reach for this, just imagine that today the circumstances were perfect to wear that item. You were going to the right place, your hair was done properly, your makeup was done properly, whatever the occasion is, whether it was the gym or something fancy or whatever, and you have the opportunity right now, you're getting dressed, you're getting ready to go to this thing whatever it is would you pick this item today or are you not so likely to pick it would you pick something else and that's how you can tell and if you probably wouldn't pick it today or if you're like mm, i don't really know how i'd feel about it today i don't know if i'd want to that right there is your answer then you know you're not likely to reach for this very often whereas if the occasion was right i would definitely if i would definitely pick that item if i was like yes i can't wait to wear this like i'm gonna wear this today then I know, then that's something I'm likely to reach for. It's something I'm likely to put on. Then I'm more likely to get a good cost per wear on that item. So that is it for today's video. I hope that today's tips helped you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I'll see you all very soon in my next one. Bye for now.